Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video. So in today's video we're going to do another horse battles. This time we're actually going to pick two different horses and we're going to see which one actually comes out on top. So we're going to just put them through three very simple rounds and then we'll see which one actually is the best. So overall the rounds are pretty simple, you know, they, they gotta do a couple things and uh, they're pretty simple overall. So the horses we're going to be using in this video is the Dutch Warmblood and the Appaloosa for the Dutch Warmblood I'm picking the Chuckle Throne and for the Appaloosa I'm picking the Brown Leopard as you can see right now. So first off we're going to check the Brown Leopard. So the Brown Leopard is actually a work type with standard handling and his stats are 5 health, 6 stamina, 4 speed and 3 acceleration. And you can pick this up at the Tumbleweed Stable after Epilogue 1 for around $450. So overall I think this is a really good horse, it really looks cool, you know, I was surprised by the looks, um, I actually, actually think this is a really on, good lady. looking horse as well, um, overall it looks cool, it's decently built, but definitely got better horses that are better built, um, but I think this is definitely a great horse to have, especially, you know, for the 450, it's pretty well, as it's pretty good actually. So, I think you definitely can pick this up for a cheaper price if your honor is better. So definitely just check the location out or check the horse out, it's pretty, as you can see it's a pretty cool looking horse as well. So overall, you know, I definitely think this is worth having, in, especially because it's after the epilogues, or it's actually in the epilogues. Definitely think this is worth checking out too, because you don't have that much money in the epilogues, so definitely check him out. So the next one is actually the Chocolate Rowan, and this is actually the horse that you can pick up at the first stable, at the Valentine's stable. So the Chocolate Throne is a work type with standard handling and his stats are 5 health, 6 stamina, 4 speed and 3 acceleration. And you can pick this up at the same price but then at the Valentine's table. So you can pick this up when you come from the snow or when you finish the first chapter then you can pick this horse right away. But I definitely think you need to check out the Brown Leopard because it's a pretty cool looking horse. Um, definitely worth checking out too. So the Chocolate Throne like I said you can pick this up. Just when you start the game actually, or just when you come to the free free roam, free world, um, that's when you can pick this up at the Valentine's stable. It's the first stable you come across, so definitely check it out. But again, you don't, you probably don't have that much money when you start out the game, so that's another, that's another disappointing thing. But again, if you have a better hunter, then they can definitely pick this up for a lot cheaper. Um, I think if your hunter is like maximum, you can pick this up maybe for like... $200 so that's a pretty good price overall um, I definitely think you have to check one of these out because they're pretty cool they're pretty cheap actually probably one of the cheapers or the cheapers good horses in the game because they're pretty cheap and they're actually the stats are pretty good uh, they're definitely in like the top the top 10 of there um, but yeah so let's check the first round which is going to be stamina this one was actually surprising because again they have the, the same the same stats so we're gonna check which one is actually the best but again the, the Dutch warm blood started off a lot a lot slower than the um, than the Appaloosa I have no reason why I actually pressed or smashed the buttons all of them so not all of them but on both I smashed the buttons as you can see the Appaloosa actually got a little bit of a gunfire ahead of him but uh, I definitely think he did a good job over there so I actually want to keep that in so as you can see, it slowed down a little bit, but I just want to keep it in because then you can see also that he doesn't get scared a lot. So that's a pretty good test right away. But again, I definitely think they did both very well, so let's check them out. As you can see that boat's struggling right here, they're both getting a little bit of trouble to actually keep up the pace. 
Um, but again, you gotta keep in mind the Appaloosa actually. I think definitely think the Appaloosa is a very good horse um, because when the Gunfire shots came off, he didn't move anything. So that was pretty important. Almost ran over some bears right there, but you know. as you can see, they're both slowing down here. Um, and actually, both gonna kick me off or pop me off at the same time as you can see. But I definitely think the Appaloosa won a little bit because the Appaloosa had the gunfire and he had to slow down a little bit more than the, um, than the Dutch Warmblood. So round 2 is gonna be speed again. Um, this one was actually surprising because they have the same speed, but for some reason the acceleration, it's not the same. You will see that in a couple seconds. Um, the Appaloosa again started out a little bit slower, I think, in my perspective, than the Dutch Warmblood. So, actually, the Dutch Warmblood was actually faster away, I thought. Um, but again, pretty, pretty easy. I had to slow it down right here as well. So, you can definitely see which one wins. But I definitely think the Dutch Warmblood won because the Appaloosa didn't move that fast. And like I said, I actually smashed the button. So, you know, I think the Appaloosa. The three acceleration that he has doesn't is not right. I think he's a little bit lesser than that. But yeah. So now we're gonna do the stableness again. We're gonna take my revolver as first. And I'm gonna see how he moves on that. So as you can see his first two hooves. That's actually pretty common with all the horses, I think. That they just move their first two hooves. But I think he actually did very well on the revolver round because he didn't move that much. Only the first shot he moved. Um, but I definitely think he did a good job on the on actually the revolvers. So I definitely think he did very well. He didn't like try to kick or something. He didn't like try to move. Um, he didn't run away, which is also very important that they don't run away. So now let's get the shotgun out. And as you can see, he actually did pretty well if you compare it to the other horses. They all tried to, like, they all moved or jumped a little bit. Um, he actually just stood there and moved only his two horses or two feet or his two hooves. Um, but I think definitely he did a very well job on this round. Again, we're gonna shoot him from the back. That's where he got a little bit more skittish than the other rounds, I think. Actually tried to actually move a little bit more than others. Um, but yeah, I definitely think he did very well. So now let's go to the Dutch warm blood and try the same thing. So first revolver. And he also did very well, you know, only the first shot he moved his two hooves. Um, he just stood still the other um, I definitely think they actually did both very well on the first revolver round. But he definitely moved a lot more or he was definitely a little bit more scared from the repeater. Um, but I definitely think the Appaloosa won the repeater round. So as you can see, the Appaloosa definitely won, I think, with the, with the rifle as well. So the shotgun. He, he actually moved quite a lot there um, with the shotgun. So I definitely think the Appaloosa won this round or won um, the, the gunfire round. So now let's just shoot them on their backs and let's see what happens. Normally they don't move a lot when you know, ride them and shoot them. As you can see, it actually pretty much stood still. Um, but once the gunfire is over, he actually kind of moved a little bit there. So let's take out the revolver and see what he does. So I definitely think the Appaloosa won this round, uh, won the gunfire round, because he actually pretty much stood still the whole entire time. So now we're going to check out the wolves and see what happens. So first off we're doing the Appaloosa. As you can see the Appaloosa is actually a really nice horse, it looks cool. I'm definitely going to use it a lot more. As you can see here are the wolves. And 
he stood still for like a second, but I, I wasn't able to move, so I definitely, um, you know, think the first contact is very important because you need to, like here, he, he didn't allow me to move, so that's why I, I actually fall or actually blocked me off there, um, but if I was able to move, then I think I'll probably run away, so I think that wasn't very well of him. But like, I, like you can see, I tried to actually whistle him back, but he didn't come back, and I actually ended up dying. So, I didn't think that wasn't a very good round for the Appaloosa. He won the gunfire, but I don't think he will win the the Wolves, because, you know, he bucked me off right away, I wasn't able to move. So, the Dutch warm I'm hoping he does better, um, because, you know, it's kind of, it's very, the first contact is very important. As you can see, he actually let me move a little bit, but then again, I wasn't able to move, but actually stood still for a couple, sec couple of seconds, so I definitely think when you stay still there, definitely you, you can use your dead eye and shoot him. So I definitely think the the Dutch one will win this one, because as you can see, I tried to whistle him back, he actually came back, the Appaloosa didn't came back, um, then I tried to, you know, stand up, but actually ended up dying again there. Um, I definitely think the Dutch Warmbot won this round. So overall, I think the Dutch Warmbot is a better horse because he won the race round and he won this round. The Appaloosa only won the gunfire round um, and the stamina round, too. both were the same. So I definitely think the Dutch Warmbot is a better horse. But yeah, guys, see you later, guys.